Hello, how are you all doing? Welcome to my page, Carnivorous Beasts. It's good to see you here. So, if you don't already know, I had done a previous video called My Holiday Experiment. Go and check it out if you haven't watched it on my channel. If you have watched it, you'd know that I decided to do an experiment on eating higher carbohydrate diet, just sort of eating anything I wanted to see how it made me feel. Um, so now I am back from my holiday. I am finished eating that way and just going to let you know how it made me feel, how I feel about moving forward now. And uh, yeah, just see, just give you guys sort of an idea of what it did to my body, to my mind, everything like that. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, uh, like and share to anybody that you may know who would also like this video. And let me know if you have experienced any of the things that I talk about in the video, put a comment down below and yeah, it'd be great to have a chat with you to know how you feel when eating that kind of food. So let's get to it. So as I've already previously talked about, I have for the last two weeks been eating whatever I wanted. It was an experiment to see how it would make me feel, how it would affect my mental state, my physiology as well. So skin issues, um, whether I feel more sluggish and all these sort of things. So I'll give you kind of the idea of the sort of things I've been eating. So due to the um, lockdown rules, we've decided to have a holiday at home in the UK. We travelled all around. We went uh, from Manchester to Blackpool to London and to Cornwall and then kind of back again as well. So all over the country. Um, during this time, I decided to eat whatever I want. So I was eating fast food. I was eating in pubs. Um, I had a pasty in Cornwall. I had um, some alcohol as well and just going to explain how these different types of food made me feel. So the main thing that I noticed out of all the food was how sluggish I felt. It just, I felt a lot slower, um, felt like there was something sort of like weighing me down a little bit more um, as opposed to how I normally eat where I usually feel a lot more sort of energized and ready to go. I also had a foggy mind. So this year, being on the carnival diet, I've managed to read uh, 11 books so far, which is the most books I've ever read in a year. Now, in the last two weeks, I found it harder to read books, um, a lot slower going through, reading through, having to double read some lines as well, but just because I had much more of a foggy mind than I had before. That also sort of linked into the way I was speaking as well. So it took me longer to sort of get a sentence out because I had to really think about the words that I was, um, as a, a good example there, as stumbling on words, trying to really think about what I'm going to say next. Instead of whereas before, things were a lot more clearer, I had a lot more mental clarity, that fog just wasn't there. And that kind of moves into the next point where I found it a lot easier to get down and what I mean by that is like to get into a more sort of lower feeling uh, not fully depressed but a feeling of easily just slipping into just not feeling great not feeling my normal self just it was so much easier to slip into that whereas before with the mental clarity I was able just to sort of avoid that most of the time as well and, you know we all have bad days but it just felt so much easier to slip into that frame of mind eating that way um, that again links into how motivated I feel to do things so you know reading I felt less motivated to read even though I've really enjoyed doing that this year I felt less motivated to do exercise less motivated to sort of research things but it just it just wasn't there that spark that clarity just wasn't there whilst I was eating this way um one thing that I've got today is a bit of a headache because now I've stopped eating this way and I'm going back to carnival back to how I was these last uh, before these last two weeks so I'm getting that sort of like hangover as such from the bad food I've been eating and yeah, so a bit of headache, um, my skin as well. So I, I don't know if you've um, watched my previous videos where I mentioned that I had skin issues between my legs. 
Now, they haven't come back, but I've noticed that the itching sort of sensation is back. And so I'm kind of glad that I haven't gone too far down the road where it comes back and I can easily sort of get back on top of that. But I've noticed that that itching feeling has come back. And you know, if I had eaten longer, that skin issue would have returned. My side skin issue that I had before um, hasn't got any bigger, but nor has it got any smaller. So I think what's happened is the time that I've been on it has not been enough to expand it again, but it hasn't made it heal any at, at all like it was before. Um, and I think I got to the point where really I was just completely sick of eating that way. It, it was kind of tiring. I The way it was making me feel, I was... I was just getting fed up with it really and because I've been on the other side where I know that foods affect the way I feel, my skin, how it makes me motivated, more inclined to feeling low, um, because I've been on the other side I was actually more looking forward to just going back to eating normally and avoiding eating this crap as I call it um, and just getting back to normal sort of structure, normal eating. Um, so if I was to be asked, oh, do you want to eat again like that? I wouldn't be in any kind of rush to do so just because of the way it made me feel. So moving forward with this now. So I will be doing a part three video next weekend to let you know how my first week back to eating normal on the carnival diet is. Also as well, really good news that the gyms are reopened. So I will also be sort of documenting my return to the gym and eating on the carnivore diet. One thing I do say is that eating the way I have done the last week, the way I sort of helped to manage it to not make it get completely bad was to fast. So I ensured that I fasted for a long period of time to allow my body to process the rubbish that I put into it. So I was fasting roughly about 15 hours, um, letting that stomach just build, work on that kind of processing that rubbish that my body doesn't need, trying to get rid of it. Another thing that to note as well, going to the toilet was a lot more often. Um, and that was not enjoyable really. Um, it Eating on a carnival diet, it was nice because you don't go as often but you're not constipated you still you feel good i feel light energized whereas eating in that kind of way eating the high, high carbohydrate foods the high sugar foods i was finding myself going about two or three times a day and i was just like this is not for me i hate hate doing this so i'm so glad now to be coming off that um i recognize that this next week may be difficult and getting into it getting back to the carnival diet, you know, I might get that sort of keto flu, as they call it, I might start feeling a little bit sluggish, but I know I just need to break through that. And I'm going to document this for you and let you know how I get on with this in my video next week, which will be a part three of my holiday experiment. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I've been feeling eating this way. It'd be really interesting to know if any of you guys have felt similar sort of ways in eating that food if any of you guys have done an experiment where you've come from carnival back to eating that sort of american western diet and then back to carnival again it'd be nice to know how you guys have felt throughout that so let me know in comments below um i really look forward to letting you know how i get on this next week um so make sure that you subscribe also as well if you haven't already done so please hit that like button that really helps me out Put in any comments, any pros, cons of what you think I've said today. Um, be really interesting to hear what you say. Once again, thank you for coming to my channel and I shall see you all again next week.